Hi guys, I'm Wanda and welcome to Crazy Days. Today is just a little bit about my medicine cabinet for this time of the year. The winter time is all the time that we have the sniffles, the sneezing, the coughing, the flame, all this kind of stuff goes on. And I'm trying to get a cabinet together where I have certain things for right now, this time, in case I get sick or Danny gets sick and I have it all in one place instead of having to go hunt it throughout the house. So I thought I'd take you along on what I'm doing to have my medicine cabinet for the winter stuck in one place. Number one, I got this book, Modern Essentials. I'm going to put a link in the description below for this book. This is the best book for essential oils that I found. Um, let me say this right now, I am not a doTERRA wellness advocate anymore. I did not have time to spend talking to my clients and things like I needed to. I needed to spend several, like an hour to two hours a day dealing with doTERRA. I did not have the time. I tried it for a year and a half, but I still have my doTERRA. I still love doTERRA. There are many uh, essential oils out there that will work and do work. So don't go get on my case about what works and don't work. I know doTERRA works. There are others out there that I know friends of mine use that work. So whatever works for you, use it. But we're going to be dealing with doTERRA today. And since I am not a wellness advocate, I don't have to listen to them telling me I'm saying something wrong. Um, so whatever I say today, don't take it as doctor's advice. Take it as Wanda is showing you her medicine cabinet for the winter. Now in this book, Modern Essentials, I go to page, let's see, 333, Respiratory System. That's what we want to deal with is the respiratory for the most part. Now we're going to have a few other symptoms that we're going to throw some things in. And I've got not only oils, I have other over-the-counter things too because Wanda covers all bases. I have some herbs. We, we're, we're kind of covered. Now in the respiratory system, you may, mainly are dealing with breathing your coughing, your lungs, your whatever. So I have this little um, handy pack here. It's a carry case that goes with me. I've got this system here. Let me see if I can bring it up close. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I have my Breathe, my Digestin, Deep Blue, Melaleuca, Passion, Forgive, Motivate, Console, uh, console, I'll say it right, cheer and peace. All right, in this section, you won't need all of these, but breathe, number one, I'm going to have breathe on hand. Digestion for your stomach is going to be on hand. Deep blue for the aches and pains and stuff is going to be on hand. Melaleuca is simply tea tree. You got tea tree, you want that on hand. Now the rest is if you, I mean, they're dealing with other things. We're not worried about those right now. But I have them in a pouch. The pouch will stay close at hand. And I have other things on this side for different varieties of things. But this pouch will stay on hand where Danny and I have it close and, and I'll breathe. I really love breathe. I'm just going to tell you I love breathe. That's probably my favorite of all times. This is a respiratory stick. You remember the old va Vix or vapor sticks that you you sniffed? That's what this is. It's simply a container. It looks like a cute lipstick thing. Top comes off. This pulls out. This twists off. And it has a wick in it. Kind of like a candle wick. You put your breathe in there. You put a few drops of breathe to fill that wick up. And you put this on top. Screw it back down. And it has the little air holes. And it's just in a cute case. That's all it is. Looks like lipstick, but I've got respiratory support all over it. It's just breathe. When you can't breathe, you can breathe this in. You don't have to take anything. It's simply in there. Breathe is my number one favorite of all times. Um, this bottle, I mix my own. I put um, coconut oil. On guard and oregano immune booster just saying all right these again a whole bottle of breathe and it's almost empty I got like 
several bottles of breathe. Y'all, just saying. You gotta have breathe. Did I say we like breathe? All right, then I have lemon and lime, of course. We have frankincense, oregano, cinnamon, on guard. On guard is your immune booster. You gotta have it. Melaleuca, which is tea tree. Eucalyptus. I've got all the oils here. You're gonna keep these on hand. All these will go into one little um, tote that I'm gonna fix up so that if I say, if I'm the one sick and I say, Danny, I need the breathe, he's gonna know, here's the tote. Let me find breathe here. Everything's gonna be laid out. You want a thermometer. Danny in order to supply of these things just in case. Um, you want to keep gloves. Now Danny and I have a supply of gloves. We have a supply of masks. I just brought a few out so that you could see masks. Just in case you don't want to spread something. And Kleenex. You got to blow your nose. You might as well get Kleenex. Uh, we also have lots of hankies and uh, bandanas. That's what they were used for. You could blow your nose and wash them. People just got to where they didn't want to keep blowing into the same thing all the time and washing. They wanted the cheapy throwaway paper things. That's good. But I have a supply of those. Um, so all this is going to be something that you'd want in your cabinet. Let's see. Serenity. These are tablets. Lots of people have trouble sleeping. Serenity. That's what I use. Um, peppermint for the stomach. I got Pepto chewable tablets for the stomach. There's many, many other things that you can do for the stomach, but that's to milk of magnesia, uh, any kind of stomach thing that you can find. Digestion. Uh, let's see this one right here. To me, I keep this one on hand, rub it on the tummy, gives you some relief, um, that kind of stuff. Now, we've covered sleep, the oils. Let's go into a little bit different type stuff. Bay leaves. These came off of my tree out here. Jim and I homestead gave me a tree a year and a half ago, and it grew up pretty tall, and I needed to put it in the greenhouse. And so I trimmed it down to a reasonable size, and I dehydrated all the bay leaves. And I know bay leaves is good for cooking, but have you looked at the benefits of bay leaves? Oh my goodness. If you make a tea out of it and drink it, uh, it can help with phlegm, congestion, coughs, anything like that. Immune booster. Check it out. Bay leaves. Who knew? So I've got two things so that I can make bay leaf tea. A subscriber sent this. It's an immune boosting flu tea. It's got echinacea, elderberry, peppermint, and lemon balm. Look at this. Isn't that great? I can make a lot of teas out of this. When you're sick, you don't want to eat. You want teas. So here I have bay leaf. I have these teas. I have my Ticino, I, and it's all herbs and stuff. It's not putting caffeine into my body when I want to sleep. I have a variety of uh, Ticino that is herbs and mushrooms and fruits and stuff like that, so I can drink my Ticino. I may not taste it, but I can drink it. Honey. Honey is the all time. You want it on your home. You want it in your cabinet. I got a supply of honey. We're going to have honey available for the teas. Did I mention I like breathe? Breathe comes in drops, in uh, cough drops. Just so that when you, you're sucking on them, they open the passage from inside. Breathe. Keep these on hand. For the stomach, ginger. You want ginger. Find ginger. Uh, I've got ginger in this, in my oils. I've got it in the, these, well, they, actually this is ginger and lemon. In the drops that you put in your mouth, comes in very, very handy. For you, if you don't want to eat, these drops come in great. Also, I keep, it's off-brand, but NyQuil, off-brand NyQuil. I got some of these. I just, I grew up with this. Zyrtec or any type of allergy type medicines. I'm not saying any type, but there's several out there that do pretty good to help with some of the symptoms. So I keep Zyrtec on hand. BC, I am a BC person. If you're not, then you go with Tylenols or um, ibuprofens, anything that you do. I'm a BC person. 
BC is the only thing that will knock out a headache for me other than lavender. So, and I have lavender. Uh, I don't know where did it lavender somewhere. Balance and lavender. Right here. This is my headache medicine because you will get headaches and stuff when you have sickness. So balance and lavender to rub on the temples and stuff for headache. Forgot that one. Mentholatum. Vix Vapor Rub, whichever one you find, off brands, it don't matter, have some of this on hand. This opens the passages. You can put this on your chest when I was feeling bad when I was a kid and we were croupy. My granny always rubbed it on our chest and gave us a warm cloth. And we've got heating pads. Heating pads is a good thing to have. You put a heat pad up here with this, you can't go wrong. I'm telling you, these old remedies were perfect. They worked. Why mess with something that worked? So a heating pad's another thing you should have on hand. I've got those. I also have, uh, somebody sent me the rice that you um, heat or cool. It's in a candy corn type thing. It, it's for the back, but you could use it for the chest. It's rice wrapped up in uh, cloth. Put it in the oven on very, very low for just a few minutes just to warm it up. Do not get it so hot that it's gonna burn you. Um, Possibly put a blanket, a warm blanket in between and put it on your chest. Works. Things like this, I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you the mama stuff I've had to do. I'm telling you the stuff that my mama did for me, my grandmother did for me. These are things that I like and y'all, I keep my herbs. It, we have plenty of garlic out in the um, yard all over the place. So if we need it, we have the garlic because I don't want to bring it in and let it dry out. So Garlic chives, uh, we have all that out in our yard. I have that ready. Um, I have fresh oregano, um, fresh rosemary. All that stuff is outside. If I want a tea of that, Danny just goes, clips it off, brings it in, I can make a fresh tea. Or I have it in the oils, both ways. We have aloe vera, if you have anything to deal with that. Aloe vera helps with the stomach. So. I have an abundance of aloe vera. We will be bringing aloe vera in and you can drink it. All you got to do is juice one of those leaves, put it in with your hot teas or whatever, a little honey, swallow it. It works well to help soothe the stomach. So guys, I hope you got a little bit out of my medicine cabinet for the winter for all the sniffles, sneezes, coughs, congestion, phlegm, that type stuff. This is not everything, but this is what I will have on hand ready in case we do get sick. It will be sitting here for now. And in the springtime, usually we put it up. We take a springtime tonic, throw it out there. Hey, you gonna feel better? You don't wanna know what the springtime tonic is. Do you really? Well, I haven't done this in years. I'm just gonna tell you, this is not the one that I'm, I would use this spring, but it's out there, castor oil. My granny used to make us take castor oil. My mama gave me castor oil. In fact, it wouldn't hurt you to take castor oil right now. Clean your system out. You might feel better. I'm, I'm being my granny right now. So peppermint, I've got peppermint sticks that I can put in uh, my teas. I've got a supply. I'm ready, safe. We're staying home. Danny and I are gonna be kinda um, quarantining ourselves for a little while uh, just because the next month is going to be a little bit crazy and our town is really in the top peak of its um, sickness and we're going to limit every all the going we're limiting anything coming in we're going to stay home and be hermits for just a little while better safe than sorry guys Wear the mask, the gloves if you need to when you're out in public don't go anywhere that you don't need to go uh, use drive-ins, pay your bills online, order online, do pickups, anything that will help you stay safe over the next couple of months. So guys, I hope you did get a little bit out of my medicine cabinet for the winter, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you from Crazy Days.